Hi, I'm Taya Selassie, author of the book Love Your Curls, a poetic tribute to little girls with curls. I have to say, when Dove Hair asked me to write this book of poems, I jumped at the chance. The idea of a poetic book designed to inspire little girls to love their curls, it absolutely thrilled me. I could remember all too well what it was like growing up with curly hair. In my case, when I say curly hair, I mean very tightly coiled curls. But it's something that curly girls of all textures have experienced. Dove Hair received thousands of submissions from real women who sent photos and stories and testimonies talking about their hair stories, their daughter's hair stories. And I realized I most certainly was not alone. Four in 10 little girls with curly hair would call their hair beautiful, which means six in 10 would not. I was certainly amongst that number when I was a little girl. I tell the story in the foreword of this book that my sister and I used to put towels on our hair so we could feel what it was like to have the weight of straight hair and toss our ponytails and tuck our hair behind our ears because we were young and we wanted to look like the women in the magazines and in the movies that we saw. As I got older, of course, I learned not only to love my curls, but most of all, to love myself. And this is something, this is a journey that I would love to help little girls take more quickly. The research shows that little girls who have women in their lives who love their curls are more likely to love their own hair exactly the way it is. And so I think of one woman who sent in her story saying that her little daughters always begged her to straighten their hair. And one day she asked them why? And they said, because we want hair like yours. You have straight hair. And this woman wrote, she was appalled. She doesn't have straight hair. Every morning she would get up and blow dry her curls, and she'd been doing so since before her daughters were born. As a result, her girls had never seen her naturally curly hair and didn't know that she thought it was beautiful. Therefore, they didn't believe that their hair was beautiful. And this woman told the beautiful story about how, faced with these two little girls looking up at her and wanting nothing more than to be like their mommy, she decided to go completely curly, and her little girls have loved to as well. We received stories from women who talked about coming from generations of curly haired women. We received stories from women who talked about going through chemotherapy with straight hair and coming out with curly hair and learning to love this new texture as a sign of vitality in life. Women who described their curls as a lion's mane, as a sign of their strength. And women who talked about in honest terms what it was like to feel ostracized, to feel different and to come around Part of that is to do with products. I mean, I am a huge advocate of leave-in conditioner. On a human day, I wouldn't leave the house without it. And Quench Absolute Dove's leave-in serum is, is fantastic. I love it. Part of that is the product. Part of that is the nurturing the hair, the taking good care of it. And I think that Dove Hair has done a wonderful job releasing a line of products that will help with that. But a lot of it, and I would even say the most important part of it, is the confidence, is the culture, is the call, the rallying cry to say, love your curls exactly the way they are because they are beautiful. I love that Dove has been doing this, not just with hair, but with body type, with skin color. I love this mission, this intention to tell real women that real beauty starts from within, that it doesn't look one particular way, and then with this Love Your Curls book of poems to pass that on to the next generation. I'm reminded of a poem that I wrote inspired by a woman who talked about generations, who talked about her beauty story lasting from her great-grandmother to her grandmother to herself and on to her daughter. She wrote to us that seeing her daughter's curly hair made her feel that her daughter was connected to a long line, not just of curly women, not just of beautiful women, but of strong women. And if there's anything that I would want little girls and the big girls who love them to take away from reading this book, it's that. That our naturally curly hair is beautiful. That the six out of 10 who don't think their hair is beautiful will come to think like the four out of 10 who do. That we will come to embrace ourselves, no matter the texture of our hair, for our beauty, but most of all, that we would know that that beauty comes from here. So I'll read that poem that I wrote inspired by a mother. Dear daughter, your great-grandmother had curly hair and always loved to flaunt it. In her day, all the girls wore hats when going to the market. But your great-grandma said, no thank you, ma'am. My curls need sun and air. Your grandmother, my mother, inherited this flair. 
In her day, it wasn't common to find a girl on the baseball field. So your grandma said, then I'll play with boys. I do just what I feel. No one dared say, as you sometimes hear, she's pretty good for a girl. She was famous for her feistiness, a perfect match for her curls. And I, like the women before me, have always marched to my own drum. I inherited the curls and with them, the courage, the love of fun. These days, my heart is filled with joy whenever I look at you. Like the women in our family, you're a strong, curly girl too. That's the message that we want to send to little girls with curls, that they belong to a long lineage of wonderful, powerful, beautiful women, and that who they are, just as they are, is beautiful. You can download a free e-copy of this book at dove.com slash love your curls. And not only that, you can customize it. This is the most exciting part for me. I left a poem open so that you can insert the name of the curly girl in your world, her hair color, her eye color, and have a poem read to her just for her. You can write a dedication on the website, and then you can email, you can send via Facebook, in whichever electronic way you choose, you can send this customized, dedicated ebook to a curly girl in your world. I encourage you to do that because we know that women who love their curls inspire girls who love their curls. Download a copy of this free ebook at dove.com slash loveyourcurls and inspire the next generation of girls to love their curls as well.